assalamu alaikum hey guys today i am coming with another video so the last exercise we will learn exercise 28 display laying and profile that refers to local standard okay so today we are going to learn exercise 29 displaying and modifying profile view so in this exercise we will learn how to change the data displaying in the in a uh, profile view okay so first of all exercise 29 lecture in english displaying and modifying profile views so number one is editing the profile views style number two adding hatch patterns between profiles number three projecting objects onto a profile view number four splitting a profile view number five cre uh, creating multiple profile views number six creating stacked profile views okay let's jump on civil 3d so this is my profile not which is normal profile i am not uh, change any style yet now i am going to uh, change style step by step okay see i just uh, click the profile uh, view now i'm click, uh, click mouse right button and then profile view properties i select profile view properties like this just click like this and then if uh, see the first first tab is information and second is station elevation profile band size now i am coming down object style see the object style from object style in the drum, uh, drop down menu i just click uh, i just click from here drop down menu and i choose major grids okay I just click major grids like this and if I hit apply see you will see the change in uh, uh, profile view okay just apply with the changes and click. now there is a station also I do not need this station I, I will hide later this station this is my design line and then that is my static and gl line if you want to see uh, uh, this uh, ngl line why i make why i create a static because i want to show you the cut fill cut fill hatch on the profile okay so that's why i change manually I, be, I create manually this uh, small mountain like this because I, I want to show you hatching, cut fill hatching. If you want to change this uh, static to static to dynamic, just click profile view and then mouse right button. See the profiles here, number four, and then see static update column there is update column and choose from static click like this and click dynamic see, you will see the changes i just uh, click apply okay see there is no mountain nothing else so this is my ngl which is a uh, normal ngl okay so i why i create a, a static because I want to show you cut fill hatching. That's it. So I click the control Z to back. Yes. Now, now I click the profile view and click the, the mouse right button and see the edit profile view style. I just click it and then profile view is still major grids is coming now first information is if you want to change the name you can change or keep as it is so graph graph 
in this graph see in this graph uh, there is vertical scale if you want to change you can change by clicking custom scale also you can change current horizontal scale vertical scale also you can change from here uh, profile view direction see the direction uh, I choose from left to right you can, if you want you can change direction like this but I keep as it is okay now it's very important guys uh, before you uh, create uh, after you create profile you should uh, prepare your profile like professionally okay now in this grid see in this grid grid option here is uh, the clip clip vertical this is the unchecked also clip horizontal grid also unchecked see this this line is design line i'll show you this is the line is design line mentioned and then that is the ngl line if you if you click this uh, clip vertical uh, grid like this see the horizontal and vertical vertical uh, line and horizontal line only vertical line here and horizontal line this okay the vertical grid are cut from uh, your ngl where is the ngl this the ngl okay see if you are uh, i click apply you will see the change like this i just click apply see the the vertical grid is under the ngl so i'll show you see this is the vertical line and that is the ngl okay now click again like this and i choose from here click horizontal grid click apply you will see the change now uh, horizontal and vertical both are gone under the ngl now if you want uh, make change uh, left and right grid vertical grid if you want disappear I'll just click uh, like this the omit grid padding areas also like this click apply you will see the change here now it's look better okay click also if you click uh, this option the grid line will touch your design line like this also horizontal see with the changes it's now touch the design line okay if you don't if you don't want uh, touch the design line just uh, click and then uncheck this okay now grid padding measure see grid padding measure grids above maximum elevation i'll i just change the 1 meter and left side to left right 1 meter and just in the 1 meter okay i click apply see the change now this is the title uh, title uh, annotation if you uh, if you want to uh, change the title uh, rod to profile you can change from here you just click and then see see no, this is the parent alignment if you want to change we can give the graph view name or other okay i keep parent alignment name or if you want to change the manually you can change if you want to type anything here 
uh, before profile or after profile or under profile you can do this by manually like this type anything it will it will see the change in your profile view or you can before or after okay and this is the text height of your uh, uh, title title if you want to access title text top left right bottom as your wish title location this is the location top justification center offset zero uh, x offset zero y offset 50 meter uh, 50 mm sorry and then border if you don't want border you just uncheck this and then apply the border will run if you want to give the border or gap if you want to just click this and if you this is the gap from your uh, profile you can adjust from here okay this is better and location center uh, this is the title text station this is station okay this is the minus 25 offset y this is the x offset 0 and then text height 3.5 text style standard if you want to change change now this is the horizontal this is the most important thing horizontal horizontal axis and vertical axis uh, these two is very important okay for profile i just click apply now see uh, my station is uh, 60 80 only 20 meter per uh, difference i want to change uh, i want to make a station every 25 meter okay so i just click this profile view and edit profile style horizontal axis uh, uh, see the major tick uh, here major tick i just uh, change the 25 meter and the interval is 12.5 meter okay please apply now you will see the change in uh, my profile also vertical here 2 meter tick 2.5 minor tick detail uh, to uh, click as it is okay if you want to change uh, anything from here you can change I just apply okay now you will see the change the first station 75 then 100 125 150 and see the tick this is the 12.5 meter this tick okay from here to here if you want to dimension like this just click like this and click like this you will find the exact uh, dimension okay the station to station so now th this is looking is, uh, much better now i want to hide this uh, station top of the table of uh, profile view i just click the uh, now uh, also you, if you want to change the text uh, like this text uh, left and right axis you can uh, see the text height 1.75 mm okay here is uh, 3.5 mm if you want to change you can change okay this is right left guys you need to play with uh, your uh, profile then you you are uh, going to learn better and better okay you should play all uh, first of all if you want to change change here and uh, click apply and see what's happened
okay that's the way you can learn also i learn like this like the way like uh, practice make you perfect okay so this is the last uh, display uh, in the display see uh, the top of station i don't i do not need the station find the top axis annotation just click hide and then you will it will disappear okay so text measure click and to disappear and minor just a clean line okay if you want to disappear like this uh, hide this uh, text also you can do uh, do like this now i finished almost editing uh, editing the profile view style the profile view style is done if you see the green uh, sorry blue line bro blue line this if you want to change you can change okay so the next uh, option is right now adding hatch pattern between profiles i just click my profile view and click mouse right button click profile views properties and now this is the last one is hatch okay see first one is cut area if you click cut area you will see the you will see the cut uh, upper boundary and lower boundary and there is shape style this is the profile this is the hatch area and uh, that is the shape style there is already selected cut material okay if you click you can create from here new copy edit okay or you can select from list whatever you want to select so this is the cut so you should select cut and click the edit button choose your uh, this is uh, the view direction select profile from here like this profile okay and then shape uh, area fill if you want to change color click like this change color uh, whatever you want i keep red color click okay and there is component hatch display component type shape area fill pattern if you want to change uh, pattern like this click like this choose from here custom user defined solid if you click solid will uh, make color the solid if you click the browser choose from browser as you like okay or click okay and this is the angle if you choose uh, from here any any of hatch like this like this okay you click okay click okay you need to give here angle uh, suppose 45 or here the scale you need to change scale like 0.014 or 01 and click apply okay i am not going to change anything i just click cancel now there is surface minus 25 just click cancel see there is this is my uh, left left ngl okay left ngl uh, static line but there is see surface from ngl minus 25 this is the positive that's mean right side i don't want right side i just 
click the drop down menu and I choose my surface from here surface from NGL minus 25 this is I want okay if I apply if I click apply you will see the change of a uh, cut area if click apply see the hatch this is the hatch in this cut area only you will see you will see the cut area only just uh, remaining fill area okay now i am going to click the fill area this is the fill area this is the fill area i just uh, click fill area like this see no uh, one thing you should uh, notice the upper boundary is surface ngl this is for cut section lower boundary is the profile which is my design line okay now in the fills uh, fill fill section area you will find the upper boundary uh, my design line and lower boundary you find surface from ngl this is my uh, right side but i need the left side this one okay i just click apply you will see the here change okay see the filling area just click okay now this is my cut area and this is my fill area if you want to change the hatch you just uh, click uh, profile view and click view uh, sorry if, uh, if you want to change and click profile view properties and then change the hatch there is a standard change click the profile okay and then i want to choose solid color like this apply apply see the solid color from uh, here see the solid color but hatch there is no hatch if you want to change hatch in, uh, in the fill side fill area the same way you can change like this this profile from this and from pattern just click solid okay okay and then click okay click apply so this is the way you can hatch your uh, profile cut fill area okay the next we are going to learn projecting objects onto a profile view uh, add object on profile i just want to click my profile and then go to the ribbon toolbox see there is project object to profile okay if you click this like this and then see the see the common word project object select object to add to profile view okay what i am going to do i just click see the object this is the object or you can select a polyline uh, 3d line or you can uh, click future line any object you just click to add click uh, like this and hit enter from uh, keyboard see this is the basic if you want to change from here you just click and there is lots of uh, style uh, display you can change color uh, line type scale line width okay also you can uh, change the points or points color okay just click apply okay and then okay there if you want to change uh, select the surface from ngl which is elevation you can select this 
and that one is the level style with the level style projection dimension or above or below I choose the projection dimension above if you want to create new copy uh, create child of current section edit current section okay. as you as you want as you wish just click ok and click ok see you will uh, find here your elevation with the station which is this is the surface elevation okay see the surface here this is the elevation this is the point okay if you want to edit uh, color change color or style you can do this now if you want to <coughs> add object uh, 3d line you can add also also you can uh, add from here see the profile view and coming to profile view see the project object to profile view like this and click the uh, feature line or ready or any line any object you can select and then hit enter from uh, keyboard or click mouse right button like this it will add your uh, profile I'll show you again select uh, sorry uh, select the profile view and then project object to profile select the object hit enter see there is a select a profile view okay just select the profile view and then there is future line if you want to edit you can edit okay. or keep as it is if you want to uh, give the profile level if you want to uh, give the profile level you can do this from here select and click ok so there is your uh, line but you cannot see because of uh, the hatching see there is the red line okay top of the uh, pgl or if you want to change the hatch color like this sorry and just click this and then will be appropriate property just uh, in this hatch fill area see this fill area fill material click material and then choose profile give the area choose from here or just click like this ok apply just uh, change the color apply ok see this is the fill area ok and uh, that is the my 3d line ok if you want to change elevation like this if you can elevate uh, change the elevation i'll give the one meter up two meter okay so elevation this elevation will change automatically you see the object so why you can why you add uh, your object here because sometimes you want to, uh, there is building bed or something else you want to know uh, this line elevation uh, with uh, design line okay that's why you can add your uh, object 
with profile okay so i'm going to back into jet oh, okay now projecting object onto a profile is finished split a profile view now i am going to show you uh, now i am going to show you split a profile view number 4 so this is my profile and just click uh, you can split where your uh, profile one is manually another one is automatic first i am going to show you automatic how you split your profile automatic this is the profile view you just click the drop down menu and uh, see the first one is create profile view you just click profile view and then select your road uh, which is alignment and then if you want to give the name you can give or keep it see the profile view style choose from here standard and then select next here is a uh, station range if you want to change station range you can use this button user specifying range give the station from and then i keep as it automatic as it is and then i click next in this uh, profile view height will be wide i just click user specified like this and then click split profile view see the maximum elevation top of the this is the maximum elevation i want to change maximum elevation uh, 607 607 so there is 640 there is 607 keep as it is if you want to change the first split view value you can just click like this and select whatever you want okay i keep as it is and not you notice one thing there is split okay the part one two three. as you want four five six doesn't matter okay so will ready automatically do it for you and see the here uh, the split station split station if you want to change keep is major grid keep is minor grid okay you can uh, do it just select from this or keep as it is civil uh, 3d will do do it for you okay now i am just click next in this uh, profile display options to the specify profile display options see there is name eg surface and this is the first column which is uh, the all the layout or egl line is here what i am going to do i am just uncheck all the left and right and layout two i do not need this i need only my design line which is layout 1 and eg surface 1 okay see the clip grid just check this uh, ngl and split add the design line okay now just click the eg surface and then see the level here see the level uh, standard just click and choose none click okay keep as it is and then click the create profile view like this and then click wherever you want now see the profile this and there is the big different this is the your split 
the civil 3d drawing for you separate this is the uh, one profile it will separate from see the datum this is the datum uh, different and then that is the different now you ch uh, change the style click uh, mouse right button and then come elevation or uh, station information information just choose the measure grid click apply click okay. Okay. that is the your profile grid. if you want to select this see the design line okay why we create a split okay sometimes we need to split our profile because of print okay we cannot uh, print uh, 100 kilometer uh, in one page okay that's why we can do it for uh, the uh, splitting and then print as we want a3 a4 a0 paper okay or this is the automatic where you split your profile now I am going to show you the manually how can you split manually or profile you just click the profile or you just click uh, no you just click the menu uh, profile grid view and then profile view properties coming here and then you just click top of the profile view and now come to the elevation elevation tab this is the automatic height I want to use user spec specified height take this and then split from here this is see this is the automatic I don't I do not want automatic now I am want manual I just click manual and see the split profile view data is now working okay see the plus sign here this is the plus sign if you want to add new split station you just click this like this click and then choose your station from your profile suppose I want a station 600 like this just click and hit enter on keyboard see the uh, your new split is done and if you want another split like this please click the add uh, plus and then wherever you want if you want from here just click and hit enter your new split is done and then click apply click. see you have now three split the first one is here and then second one then third one okay so that's the way you can split your profile uh, twice three uh, no problem whatever you want so now number four is done number five creating a multiple profile views now I am going to show you how to create multiple profile suppose this is my profile single profile I want to this uh, profile uh, multiple I want to cut this one from uh, station 0 suppose from station 0 50 to 400 or from 400 to end or you can uh, add uh, another you can divide it uh, this profile in three parts okay i just doing it for two parts so going to the profile views like this and drop down click the drop down menu like this and choose from here create multiple profile views okay i just click like this and then uh, select my road rod2 profile view style 
if you want to change the name you can change the profile view style from here i choose major grids and then click next see the station range i keep it automatic if you want manually like this you can do it and change okay i just click the automatic and you will see the difference okay now uh, the length of each view so length of each view which is station from and maybe you want length every 400 meter or every uh, 300 meter one view okay there is uh, maybe 800 meter total length so i am going to divide to just i give the 400 and click next so this is the user space right or keep as it is automatic if you want to automatic you can do this but i am to uh, you should be to uh, click the user space right like this because you want to split now i am change from here major grid which is first split view style intermediate split view style also choose major grids and then the last one is also split uh, this is uh, the keep as it is and then and this is the minimum elevation i give 20 meter and then profile view datum by i i just uh, select the mean elevation like this click next in this uh, section i'll i'll uh, just uncheck uncheck all uh, all the surface like this but i need the surface ngl left side only and layout which is my design and then i click the split at my design in this level i choose i just click the i just click the level column and then i select the complete level set click okay like this and then i click next i click next again because i want to hatch uh, create hatch my cut fill area i just click the cut area first and then i choose from the list uh, upper boundary i choose my left side and this is the shape style cut material and next click fill area in this fill area also lower boundary i just select my left side and my design line design line already selected now i am going to click next and then create profile view click uh, wherever you want uh, place your profile view i just uh, click here and then you will see my profile it will uh, this one profile it will coming two which is divided two the first one is uh from 0 or 50 to 450 and then second one is 475 to 800 until one and this the last 838 station okay so this is the way you can uh, you can create multiple profile views now i am finish the finish with uh, number 5 creating multiple profile views the last one is 6 number 6 creating stacked profile views okay in this uh, 
this profile we have a pipe network and design line also left right edge of uh, travel way okay so we are going to show you how to create a spec profile uh, see the profile view just click the profile view from here and then select my road north south road okay this is the alignment and select uh, select from here uh, profile view style major grids click next uh, we uh, go back sorry this is the show offset profile by vertical stack profile view okay see one two three okay I just take this and then click next click next and click next also in this uh, stack profile see this stack profile I want to change the number of stack views okay if you want four three five as you wish I just click the four uh, three and then gap between views okay if you want uh, create gap uh, 10 meter or you can click the zero zero because uh, you don't uh, do not need like this if you want create like this see part one and between the gap and then part two between gap and number three like this if if you want give this uh, gap between you just type manually here uh, gap uh, uh, maybe 10 meter or 12 meter 15 meter as you want I just give zero okay I don't want to gap between my profiles and see the top view profile profile view if you want to change from here major grids you can choose whatever you want I just keep as it is and click the next in this uh, profile display options see black stack view to so, uh, specify option for middle top and bottom first I click the top and then specify profile display option I choose from here uh, left EOP left and EG left offset ok and then I choose, uh, click the middle one the middle view from here and now I choose from here center where is the uh, this is the center eg center line and this is the center line okay and then bottom bottom view I am choose from here uh, eg right offset and EG, eop right and I keep as it is everything uh, do not need anything from here if you want you can see the center line just uh, give the alignment or keep as it is or if you want to give the level just see, uh, click from the list click complete set click ok and then click next in this uh, section you will find the pipe network okay this is the network and just click the from select list like this and expand the network pipe network and see if you uh, do not need anything you just click and then uncheck like this okay if you want keep as it I just uh, uncheck 
this W E pipe like this. So I just and then click next. If you want uh, band, you, you can select from here or just click next, create profile view and just click the profile view. See uh, your the profile is done this is the design line and that is the left right three views ok this is the bottom if you click one by one you will see everything is separate but there is no gap between the profile ok so that is the way you can draw the stack profile or you can give the gap ok if you want to draw uh, again like this click check and then click next next ok next give the suppose I uh, will give the 100 50 ok click next with the first top one, the left side like this, and then like this, and then middle one, center line, okay, the bottom right side one and that one. Click next, and then the pipe network ok see the top view also then just click and then you will see the pipe network and then bottom click and then see click next click next create you just click here see you, you will uh, find the your gap between the your profile and you will see your pipe network everywhere so that is the way you can stack uh, uh, create a stack profile and thank you for supporting me keep watching my videos and keep supporting me uh, please comment like share my videos ok and then if you want to change your style uh, profile style you just click profile view properties and profile view style you just change anything if you want ok you can do it thank you Allah